my name is Sean Kern. I'm a summer intern at the Glen Ellen Historical Society, and um, I'm here today to show you a writing desk that was donated to us by Mr. Rod Musselman. Um, this writing desk um, was owned by a Reverend John A. Gray. Um, he lived in upstate New York, and this object was donated to us in June as part of our antique sale. Um, this object was very valuable. It was refurbished in 1991. It's valued at around $2,000, but after Looking through it, we found that there are a lot of historical documents inside, and therefore um, we decided to, instead of selling this object in our antique sale, to keep the, uh, keep this desk and analyze the documents. So my job, one of my jobs this summer, along with my partner Johanna, was to um, go through this desk, analyze these documents, and um, decide where this um, where this object would best uh, should best be displayed. And um, upon doing so, we learned a lot about Reverend Gray as well as his family. We learned that Reverend Gray um, was, a, was a, a pastor who lived in the mid-1800s. Um, we also learned about his, his sons, John Jr. and Guy Gray, as well as his daughter, Maddie, and his wife, Catherine Kittle. And um, by analyzing these, we, we've seen that um, we see a lot of interesting, we can get a lot of interesting takeaways from the mid-1800s. We see, um, you know, sermons um, that were typical for the time that Reverend Gray wrote. Um, we saw that Reverend Gray traveled to um, European Russia to study the language of Tatar and to actually translate a catechism from English to Tatar. Um, we also, about half of the documents in here are letters that were written by Reverend Gray or his family, um, and, and they detail many interesting things such as um, um, Reverend Gray's son Guy Gray traveling westward on a train expedition and uh, going as far as going to Chicago, St. Paul, even as far west as Denver, and then recounting his experiences to his mother. Um, you know, his experiences being on the train, being in the Midwest, and uh, it was very interesting to read. Um, there are also just kind of interesting historical um, documents that um, just that just give um, info about the time in general. Time, one of them is about um, a man, it's not clear if it's Reverend Gray, but it likely is, um, attending the funeral of, a of President Lincoln's son, William, um, and uh, which is a very uh, major event at the time. Uh, Willie Lincoln died very tragically, very young. I had a big impact on the president. It was very interesting reading um, a firsthand um, recounting of the, of the funeral. Um, after analyzing all these documents, we've decided that the desk would not be best staying here. Our mission at Glen Ellen Historical Society is to preserve the history of Glen Ellen. That is our primary goal. Um, however, we know that there are other groups who would be much better equipped and um, would greatly appreciate having this object. So we have reached out to the Columbia County Historical Society as well as the town of Ghent. Um, both of those are in upstate New York um, with the intent of um, seeing if they would like to um, take these items um, from us and put them, on, put them in their own collections. We've not heard anything back yet, but we hope to soon. And um, yes, that, that, is, that is the writing desk. We encourage you to come down to the Glen Allen Historical Society, see some of our other collections um, related to Glen Allen, and um, as well as visit the Historical Stasis Tavern, which I'm sitting in right now. So um, yeah, please come down. We have uh, plenty of more interesting uh, documents for you to see.